Okay, class, now as I requested, uh, we are wrapping up the first part of our science camp. We're getting ready for the rocketry. And I want to thank you all now for making sure that you fall through on the instructions and bringing two two liter Diet Cokes uh, along for the, for the camp. Um, as you see here, you all follow the directions very well. You've seen me actually demonstrate the Mentos geysers. It's your turn to go ahead and have some fun with this. We're going to do this so we can clean the bottles out and get ready for building our rockets. You all remember how to do that with your uh, Mentos geyser tube and your Mentos. You stick the tubes in there, you stick, a, stick the Mentos within the tube, give it a yank, they fall in, and you get messy. All right, any questions? All right, let's get ready to go. Wait, Mr. Ed, why did you ask us to bring Diet Coke instead of other flavors? Don't be silly, Danny. I learned how to do this where everyone learns how to do things. By watching YouTube, of course. Since we have all these different flavors, why don't we try to figure out which one works the best? <laughs> yeah, that would be a great idea. It would be so much fun. Okay, I'm game, but how do you want to do this? We can see how high into the air it explodes. Or we can time it to see how quickly it goes. We can figure out which one shoots the most liquid out. Yeah, it'd be easier to figure that out than how high it goes. Well, how would we measure it? We can measure the liquid remaining in the bottles. Yeah, that would tell us which one worked the best. It would have the least amount of liquid in it. Well, we know what the question is. What soda works the best in Mentos geysers? So we will write it into our worksheet. The question we developed was, what two liter soda will work the best with the Mentos geysers? Our hypothesis is the best soda will be the bottle with the least amount of soda remaining in it because the more that shoots out, the better it is. I'll figure out how to record the results. How do you want to measure? Once we conduct an experiment, we can measure the remaining amount of liquid using a liquid measure, ounces or milliliters, as long as it's the same. We need to make sure that each time we do it, everything stays the same. Like what? Well, the geyser tube gets wet, so we'll have to clean it dry. Good. Then what? Some soda is in the fridge, and some is in. Since there isn't much room in the fridge, let's get it all to room temperature. So now we have our question, we have a hypothesis, and now we have our experiment design and safety considerations. Okay, we have our experiment. Let's rock and roll. recreation of actual events. It's an example of adapting an activity into the scientific inquiry model. This actually happened two years ago and one thing that I learned is sometimes as an educator it's important to get out of the way of the youth. 